Shalom, shalom, akim. Want to start by saying, of course, call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai. Call hello, Yahweh Bashim Yahushai, Bashim Kokodash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone. Shalom to the akim out there in the elect. Of course, that's the men, women, and children selected to make it out of here from the coming destruction, all right? And it's funny that I say that. Um, that that's exactly what the elect are going to, you know, avoid. They're going to avoid the coming destruction. Why? Because the elect are the ones that chose to make the Heavenly Father their refuge, their habitation, their dwelling, their safety net, all right, through him and his son, okay? So we're going to be protected. As a matter of fact, uh, as I say that, let me read this and I'm going to jump to another scripture. This is Psalms 91, all right, because this is another video, um, our ancient Hebrew language video, Psalms 91 and 10, all right? It says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling, okay? Why? Because once again, we chose the elect, all right, who this is talking about, chose to make the Heavenly Father our refuge. As a matter of fact, let me read it. Psalms 91 and 9. Because thou hast made the Lord, Yahweh, by Hashem Yahweh we say in the name of his Son, okay, which is my refuge, even the Most High, thy habitation or dwelling, all right? There shall no evil befall thee, Neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. And I'm going to get um, the book of 1 John 4 and verse um, 15. All right. It says, whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shai, okay, because Jesus is not the real name of our Lord and Savior. Okay. The letter J wasn't around um, before the 1700s. All right. Even in the 1611, you see eyes in, in this place, okay? And plus, that's a Greek for Jesus, all right? This means Savior. It doesn't mean He Savior, He Deliverer, as His name is in the Hebrew, okay? Yahweh Shai. Whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shai is the Son of, of the Most High, Yahweh, the Most High dwelleth in Him, and He in the Most High, you see? All right? And that's how we ultimately dwell in with Yahweh Shai. We believe on the Son, all right? And everything that comes with it. All right, we believe on the Son that He came to be the Savior for Israel, that He was sent of the Most High, and therefore, by through that faith, we're going to be delivered from the coming destruction, as long as we do what He says, of course. Okay? All right, I'm going to read it again. Uh, 1 John 4 and verse uh, 5 Whosoever shall confess that Yahweh Shah is the Son of the Most High, the Most High dwelleth in Him, and He in God. Okay? And I'm going to jump back, back to. Um, Psalms, the 91st chapter, all right? This is Psalms 91, verse, matter of fact, verse 1, He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. And what is the secret place of the Most High? These scriptures, man, all right? These scriptures, all right? The truth and the understanding. And then guess what? You'll abide under, shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty, under what? Yahweh Shah's protection, man, okay? That's what's going to keep us safe, all right? And we follow the Lord's word, which is go through Yahweh Shai, okay, and have faith, even in the midst of these sinful bodies, to the best of our abilities, try to keep the commandments and have faith, all right, the Lord is going to be our what? Our shadow, okay? We'll abide under that shadow of protection. I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge and my fortress, my power, see, my power, my God, showing you that, the, showing you that um, God does not mean... Um, the Heavenly Father's name, or is God is not the Heavenly Father's name. It means power. You see? It means power, which He is, okay? He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, my power, and Him will I trust, okay? And He sent His Son and told us to follow the Son, all right, to get back to Him, okay? Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare or trap of the fowler, of the trapper, and from the noisome pestilence, all right? And that should be what? The nuclear missile that's coming. Say noisome pestilence, man. All right. He shall cover thee with his feathers, and under his wings shalt thou trust. His truth shall be thy shield and buckler. His truth, okay? All right. And guess what? The truth came down what? As Yahweh Shai, man. Yahweh Shai is the truth. He's the way in life. So we follow under Yahweh Shai, which in turn follows under the Heavenly Father Yahweh. See how that works? All right. I'm going to jump back down. Psalms 91 and 10, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. All right? And bear with me. So once again, this is our ancient Hebrew language, okay? Because we're Hebrew Israelites. All right? So we go into the Hebrew. All right? This is Psalms of the Hoyim, 
91 and 10, it says, There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh thy dwelling. Okay? And this is, um, the first one is, La'a tha'ana, La'a tha'ana, La'a meaning no. The ana part, all right, the ana means befall, or also means happen, okay? The tha in front of it means thou, okay? So it's no, thou befall, or no befall thou, okay? The next one is uh, al yaka. Al yaka, it's not uh, ala yaka, okay? It's not ala yaka, okay? That means uh, power, your power, okay? It's al yaka, all right? Al yaka is thee, okay? Uh, rye, okay, rye, all right, which is evil, okay, sometimes you may see it as this, uh, a rye and an eye, in this particular sense, it's a rye, an eye, and a ha, rye, evil, wanna guy, wanna guy, uh, nagai means plague, and wa means end, all right, la'a ya korab, la'a ya korab, Okay, neither or no, right? Because um, la'a means no, not, or neither, because neither is essentially the same thing, okay? La'a, ya korab. Now, korab means come nigh. The ya in front of it makes it shall come nigh, okay? Shall come nigh. Neither shall come nigh. All right, the next one, or the last one is ba, a hakal, salakia. Ba, a hawka. Ba, a hawka, okay? Ba meaning in. A hall, and the brother just put up a video, see that? Ba, uh, meaning in, a hall meaning dwelling, and the cow in the end makes it thy, okay? In dwelling thy, or in thy dwelling, okay? So start from the top, la'a tha'ana, all right? Al-yaka, rai, wanagai, la'a ya'korab, ba'ahalka, okay? La'a tha'ana, know thou before, Al Yaka, the um, Rai, evil, Wanagai, and plague, La A Yakurab, neither shall come nigh, but a hawker in thy dwelling, okay? There shall no evil befall thee, neither shall any plague come nigh, un nigh thy dwelling, as long as we keep Yahabashim Shai, our refuge, and our dwelling. Calling on the name of Yahabashim Shai, the, um, the elders of Kwan. He just did a video as a Quan Monagon on GMS Army 144 about the names, okay? There's no other name under heaven uh, whereby we must be saved, okay? That's, that's, where, that's when no evil is going, that's how or how no evil is going to befall us, okay? And we keep those names precious and we do what they say to the best of our ability in these sinful ass bodies, man, okay? Because we are sinful, but we're trying. We got to show the Lord that we're trying. And guess what? Therefore, we, we will be rewarded with protection from all this stuff that's going to happen. The plague, all right, and evil that's going to happen, as the scripture says, okay? Call Haloyim, Yahabashim, Yahashim, Kalkudashim, as always, to the elect, double shalom.